Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I wanna to show you how to get started with Google Chat. So if you've been a Google Hangout uh, user before, there's gonna be some similarities to, with this, with the chatting, uh, with one-on-one -on -one or group chats, but you can do so, more, uh, so much more now in Google Chat with sharing files or sending uh, your messages right to your inbox. I think Google really needed this for their Google workspace to really connect things so that maybe you don't have to send as many emails uh, to each other and work within this chat group. It reminds me a little bit more of Microsoft Teams and how that communication works inside there. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to access and use Google Chat. Let's get started. So where do we access Google Chat? So there's a few different ways we can get to this. Now, the first way I'm going to show you is just through your Google App Launcher. You can go up to it, uh, make sure you're logged in to do this, and you can see that chat is right here. If you're using this a lot, maybe you want to move it to the top where it's easy access to it. So I can go ahead and click on this and my chat is going to open up from here. Now, uh, with Google Chat, you can actually download it on your computer as a standalone app. Now, a lot of times when you first log in, you're going to get that prompted where it's going to say, hey, do you want to download this uh, to install it on your computer? If that doesn't come up, take a look right here. If I uh, click on this here, you can see I can go and download and install the app. So just look for that. And if you want to work on that from your computer, go ahead and install it. Now, another way uh, you can access this is if I go over to my Gmail and this is what I really like it's all uh, it's going to be the same I can manage it right from my Gmail here so I could go ahead and start a new chat with one person or a group of people here or I could create a room which is a group and I'll get more into this uh, and notice it's Google uh, meet is right below and I like how Google chat and kind of meet are connected where you can do those instant calls from Google chat now so another thing I just want to point out you might not have access yet in your Gmail this is rolling out so not all my accounts have access and if you're part of a, a workspace inside of a group that uh, maybe they haven't turned that on too so just the different things you might not notice it right away so I'm just gonna go back over to chat now and the last thing I just wanted to mention if you're a mobile user you can download the app you can be on your Android or iPhone and it virtually works the same way on your on your mobile mobile device too so let's get started with how we use Google Chat now. All right, so what I have open here are two different chat windows with two different uh, different ones in my account to show you how this works. But I just want to point out on the left, I have the actual app that's installed on my computer. And on the right is a the web-based one. And I just want to point out that they work exactly the same and they look exactly the same. So pretty easy to move back and forth from both. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and start a chat right away. Pretty easy to do that. Uh, I can hit the start a chat right here or I could hit the plus right here it brings me to the same thing notice when I click on it I can go ahead and start typing a person's name so if I, uh, I just started typing a name I wanted or I could look at frequency down here so if I started typing if I didn't find the right one I could click on a name and right away I can see that this person's active and I'll show you how to change status too. I can go ahead and send a message to this person. The other thing I want to point out that it's an external person. It's outside of my workspace I have uh, with that uh, with the group that I have. So I'm going to just say hello on uh, here and I can hit enter or I can hit this little uh, uh, airplane send message here. So if I click on it and you can see over here now I have this chat. It kind of gives me some information from here, but I'm going to click on it and open it up. Now, what I really like is there are these smart replies here. So it says if I click on one of these, it will uh, fill in this. So you can see right away I clicked on it and it says James was typing, but I haven't sent it yet. So I can hit enter or just hit send here and it comes over here. And then notice I can do the smart reply back and forth like this. Now, I just want to point out where this can turn on and off if you didn't want it. If you go up to settings, and there's a few other things in the settings. Uh, there's not a lot of them, but if you go to the bottom, it says smart reply. Now this, if you didn't want that on, you could just click on it. Maybe you do want it on and it's not on. Just go ahead and click it and you get that option 
on it. Now I do want to point out some other things that you can do inside the messages. You can send things like an emoji back and forth here uh, and you can see it pop up. You can upload images uh, from here. So if I go ahead and I'm just going to grab an image really quickly here, we'll just go here and I hit send and it brings it over. So you can share these things. Also with Google Drive here, if I go ahead and click on it, I can share files from Google Drive. I can start a Google Meet from here. I really like this. And this is where it gets more and more like Microsoft Teams having all these options. I can go ahead, uh, hit it, send it. It comes over here and I can join a video meeting. So you can see rather than emailing back and forth all the time, you could be working in these conversations. So just a couple more things I want to show you what you can do inside messaging people back and forth. And you can see right here, I've added a couple reactions to this picture. If I hover over anything, I can react. So in this case, if I go over to here, I could go and add an emoji to this and I can go ahead and it pops up over here. Now, the other thing you can do is send something to your inbox. So if I hover over this one, notice it's forward to inbox. If I want that to go to my inbox, to my Gmail, go ahead and click on that and that's where it will go. So before I show you how to get to the group conversation, I just want to point out, I made a little example here. If you use the at symbol in front of the person's name, notice how it, it's blued in. So if I was typing at, and in this case, I got two people, but what it does, it that person, and then if I send a message to that person, it gets notified directly. So this is helpful, helpful especially inside a group conversation. Uh, and you can change your settings to get notified for those too. So if I go up to my settings, uh, you see that there's email notifications. Receive an email if you haven't read a message, only if the at mentioned, because if they put the at in front of the person's name like that, then it's directly to that person. And if you're inside a group, that's going to be important that you know when a message is directed towards you. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to point out was your uh, this status right up here. So the green is going to show that you are available based on activity. You can see how we put our do not disturb or set as away or add a status. And you can change these notifications uh, through here just by clicking on this. But uh, you could add a status to give uh, any uh, information needed to a person. They could just look at that. So I just wanted to point those out. Now let's make a uh, group with inside our chat. So now how do you make it a group conversation? So what, I, what you do is up here, right now I have two people just back and forth chatting. If I hit the plus here, notice that there's a start a group conversation. So if I go ahead and click on it, I can add multiple people to it. I can add more and I hit the check mark and then I'll have a group conversation and all these options will be the same. So now what I want to point out next is why would you uh, not just use a chat all the time or group conversation? Why would you use a room? And notice that up here I can create a room from here or I could create a room. It looks virtually the same thing. Now with a room, what it does is uh, it's a place where you can uh, have kind of work long term on a project. You can share files, you can assign tasks and you can't do that inside your just your conversations up here. So if you're working on a project, uh, this is a great place where you can really uh, be efficient with your time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a room here. So I'm going to go hit create, uh, just hit plus here and create a room like so. And I'm just going to call this example. And notice I could enter people here if I wanted to uh, uh, allow it or I can. But if it's outside the organization, I'd have to click here. Use threaded replies. Yes, I want thread to reply so you can kind of see that conversation going back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and create. I haven't added anybody to the room yet because I just want to show you that you can add people after. Now, in this case right here, I have my room set up. I can point out here that it has chat, files and task here. I can add people here. So if I was going to go ahead and I'll just use my same one, the external one and I turn it on so I could use external. It gives me that information that this is an external user. I'm going to confirm. And over here now in my other account, uh, we have it here. So now I have access to this room and notice we have chat, we have files and we have task. So I could go ahead again, start the chat, new thread and example at the bottom. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to say hello 
send it and the new message reply is over here. I can say something back, smart reply is on again and it goes back and forth. So I have this chat through here. Uh, right away notice that I can share a file and assign task also. So if I go to files, the, this is where the files, I could add files from here. So everybody in this group, I uh, would have access. So if I just do an example here, I'm just gonna grab this and select it. And you can see that it comes up here. I'll send it and it, make sure that the permissions are, are sent correctly, share with room members. So I'm gonna say that they can comment and I could change that if I wanted to too. And it becomes over here. So you can see here's the document. I go over to my files and the document is here. So it's just storing this all in this easy place I can uh, access. I don't have to go through all the thread, all the thread to find the individual document. I can just go through here. And notice I have the options, add shortcut to drive, and I can view in chat from here. So that's, be so we have our chat, we have our files in here. So maybe you wanna sign a task. So at this point, if I go over to task, I could add a room task. So if I click on room task, um, I could uh, tell a person to finish something. I could add a date or time. We'll make it for this time here. I won't set a time, but I can assign it to a person that's inside the group and hit add. And so now this person over here should have a task right here that they go through. And so if I check it off, let's say they finished it and then it becomes a it becomes a finished task here and it goes away. So it's a great way to manage uh, with it. And this is where I find it a lot like Microsoft Teams and how they added. Uh, I do wanna point out, uh, I'm just gonna go back here, hit the plus, and you might be wondering what a bot is. So if I go find a bot, uh, a bot are these things here so that you can add, it kind of gives more functionality to your room. So these are gonna be added to a certain room. You can see all these different ones. And I'll just go to Giph Giphy here to give an example. I click on it, add it to a room, and you can look through the different bots that are there. I'll add it to example, I click add, and so this is added, so I get this, tells me about how to use it a little bit. So if I just start typing at Giphy and I'll just type funny and I'm just reading the instructions what they have here and send this over, uh, you'll see here. So if I go over back to my chat, you can see that it just added that GIF uh, to it. Tells me how to do things uh, a little bit more with uh, some of the other features in here, but you can look for more bots. Just go find a bot right through here. So if you did use uh, Google Hangouts before, you're familiar with your video chatting, now everything's kind of connected with Meet. And you can see down below at chat, we can start a new meeting here. Now, just like in the conversations, we can start our video chats, but we can start new from here. We can send our invite or, invite or join now from here. I like it if you how they have it, if we go to my meetings, and then they just have uh, your list of new meetings or joining meetings here, but they also will have your meetings if there's any scheduled uh, coming up for you. So if you've used Google Hangouts in uh, the past before, you can see how everything's gonna be connected inside Google Chat with Google Meet. And if you want a tutorial on how to use Google Meet, if you've never used that before, I do have one of those and I'll put that down below uh, in the description here. Now, I just wanted to point out, I'm just gonna go back over to my email here and this right here, all the stuff that I did in that app, Google on the Google app, is right here in my Gmail here. So if I go ahead and click, the conversations are the same over here. I can maximize the window and you can see this is the conversation that I was having back and forth. If I click on the example room, this was the different rooms and we have our files and tasks. So I can manage everything uh, right inside my Gmail. And this is probably how I probably would end up working on it just so I can be inside this one, uh, this one app and it works all the same. So definitely take advantage of that when it comes uh, to Gmail for everybody. So I hope you like this tutorial here on uh, Google Chat here today. I think this is a great addition to Google Workspace and it's gonna make things work much more uh, efficiently. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If there's something else you want to learn on how to use in Google or other products, let me know. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.